Hello, my Gemini friends. Adding Halo here. This is my last reading of the day. So we have contracts on the board, do we? Money, career, finance for mid-June for you guys. Birthday month for you. Yeah, we definitely have contracts. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. So there's some sort of intimacy type of situation setting you're coming in to that you may need to sign some paperwork on, I'm getting. Archangel Raphael coming to assist you here. This is also the angel of marriage. Ten of Wands. Too much work. Someone could decide that by joining together could be too much work and they don't want to move forward. There is absolutely the need to consider it. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work and being a team player. So how are you going to be a team player here? Too much work except health from others. Life is out of balance. Stress related health concerns. So we have good health. We have not so great health. So take it as it resonates. A good health in your partnerships perhaps and not so good health where your passions are concerned. Perhaps very stressed about starting something or having what you have passion in. This is the angel around you, Archangel Samuel and the angel of love coming through. You may be seeing orbs that are this color or this shape. Take it as it resonates. You'll have to look at those angels and see how it is they manifest in your reading here. Something to do with stability, something to do with building the four pillars of your life. We have 16, 4, 4, 4, 4, 16. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. We have the Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor where joining up is concerned. And I feel as though, like I said, you didn't you don't want to per se. You want to put the burden down where that's concerned, but you're, you're half upended about the whole thing. It's like, I don't know exactly what to, to do here. I'm going to shuffle these cards because I feel the energy is a little off. So maybe you're feeling like shuffling the deck and playing a little bit of Russian roulette here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. You see what this could take you towards if you are a team player instead of trying to go at yourself. The divine is trying to put you together with something. Someone could be signing a contract that brings in a huge amount of solidity and abundance to you, all up in your head about it, not sure what to do, going inward. Yeah, the divine's coming in with divine timing to hop you out of this hangman tree. I'd say you've been waiting too long, waiting to move forward and create balance, not have, just find balance. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's that balance in your emotions. Hopping you out of this hangman tree. I wonder if you're going to lose a little balance in order to find out how you feel in a circumstance so that you can live a whole balanced life. You see, you can sit on the fence about something or in between circumstances as much as you want to. But staying on the fence does not mean you live a balanced life. You have to find balance over here, hop off the fence, find balance in the circumstance. You gotta hop off the fence over here and find balance in the circumstance. That way you can live a whole balanced life. If you stay on the fence all the time, you don't live balance. You live, what? Nothing, really. People say, well, I live in safety that way. Well, no, you don't because your soul doesn't grow. Well, then you have to come back here again. Does that sound exciting? Maybe. Come back here again. See what I'm saying? Judgment. Making a decision. There's an absolute decision and choice that needs to be made, possibly between two circumstances and which way to go. You may find that as you hop off that fence and step into one circumstance, it very well may lead you right back to what you truly believed for yourself in the first place, which is absolutely a victory. Why is it a victory? It's because you need to learn it. You can't learn it by being impartial. You've got to learn it by using your voice and stepping up to create. There will be a victory in someone's health if you're concerned about that. Also a victory in accepting help from others. There's some sort of long-term commitment and belief set that you need to hop off the fence regarding. It will absolutely be a victory. Perhaps it's about how money is created. Someone's in an old mindset. Yeah, this is, this is about competition. Uh, conflict, absolute change coming in that's an absolute, it's a victory for you. What you're going to be committed to for the long term in your belief set, in your passions, what you want to create. An absolute end to the heavy mental mind. You see what I'm saying? Ask for help. Partner up. Join with people to create something solid. Do that. Because it, about going it alone, it's time to end that trajectory for you. 
Tell me about the grounding energy of this reading. Movement forward in a very fast way. Once you hop off that fence, hop out of the safety, movement forward comes. And I, I want to say I feel as though you're going to feel safer than you felt in a long time because indecision does not leave you safe. Indecision leaves you stuck. Crowning the reading, a passionate new opportunity coming your way straight from the angels. You see what I'm saying here? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, there's that heavy mind. Hop off the fence. You're in a fence. You're on a fence. You're on the fence. Not sure what to do. Hop off the fence. Choose something and see what comes your way. So you're having an awakening. It's basically what's happening. Realizing that you're at the end of a cycle. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. And trust this powerful process. I believe there's some sort of trusting others and trusting yourself that all things are going to turn out the way they should. Trusting the divine even. That this is happening for a reason. Adversity. See the gifts in challenge. One can be taught within the calm. <laughs> on the fence. One can be taught on the fence. But the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. You cannot learn a solid, foundational, huge soul lesson unless you hop off that fence. Anticipation. Something wonderful is happening. Changes in the air. Open yourself to blessing on their way because it's going to create a massive happiness for yourself. It's beautiful. It's beautiful energy, but you got to hop off the fence. All right. Let's get some clarity on these things. Tell me about the Ten of... Well, I already got Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles anyway. We have a brand new beginning. Money, career, finance. Someone can be getting a new job, a new home, a new life, new you. It's going to take confidence to step into Tell me about this Ace of Wands, please. Coming into kinder partnership with another, perhaps through business, career, finance, whatever it is. It could be in life in general, but having a new passion for something your soul is calling you towards. Cycles. We have good news, communication coming in that helps you get creative about how to end something you need to. Adversity, becoming the teacher, perhaps. There's something coming in here for you, a lesson, something that's going to... Uh, make you incredibly wise. You're going to feel incredibly wise after this. Anticipation, psychic insights and abilities. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anticipation is someone who matches your energy perfectly. I feel that's somebody's anticipation. Not for everybody, but for somebody. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. We have victory. See, hopping off the fence brings you victory on the fence. Mentally brings you victory. Tell me about this. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, movement forward quickly. The truth, speaking the truth, seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning, but exciting opportunities are coming your way. It's going to take strength to muster, to hop off the fence and create this change because it will create some sadness. I feel as though your mind, your thoughts are stabbing your own heart. It's like you don't see the positive in this. You don't see the way to move forward. You don't see it as positive, but the divine wants you to know it's divine movement forward that's necessary. Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing popping up for you. Tower moment comes about, which helps you make the decision, I want to say, and brings you absolute incredible happiness. I think it's like you don't want to be on the fence about a soulmate walk away from childhood ideals. You don't want to be on the fence about ending this cycle any more than anyone else does. Look at that nine of swords again. You don't want to be on the fence. And I feel as though there's a tower moment that's going to happen and the divine's going to hop you off the fence. Yes, you're right. It's all been about divine timing. Did you have to be here as long as you were? I don't know. That's entirely up to the divine to show you within time. Let's get some angelic advice. For my Gemini friends. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and don't compromise. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So, what is it someone's trying to sink you into? Or what is it you're trying to sink yourself into? There's a reason for the hesitation. But the divine's about to chop you off there. Chop you off that hangman tree. I love you guys. Buzzings to you.